Hey everybody, it's Nick from 420expertguide.com and I'm about to do a PAR test, otherwise known as an intensity test, on the Spider Farmer Quantum Board Grow Light. This is the SF2000. So let me just explain a little bit here. I'm going to be using this free app that I got on my smartphone. This is a Lux meter and once I get the Lux reading, I'm going to come over to this converter. Um, you can convert Lux to PPFD and I've found that it's pretty accurate. So, and I'll explain a little bit more about that once we get to it. But let's get to the testing. Um, this is the SF2000, like I said. Uses Samsung LM301B diodes, same as HLG. And um, I've got the measuring tape here, and we'll measure from 18 inches, just because that's the height you're going to want to keep it at for uh, the vegetative phase and flowering phase growth. All right, let me just uh, get set here. Okay, so right at 18 inches. I'll try to tilt the phone so you can see it. But right at 18 inches right in the center and we're getting about 40 39 40 thousand lux there we'll call it 40,000 in the center uh, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see it's right in the middle of the 2x4 tent here and then I will go over to the side here and we're doing about, let's see, doing about 19, 20 and I'm pretty sure that I'm keeping my hand here at the 18 inch mark. Um, again. Yeah, so we're right about 20, 21 there. And I've done this a few times, so I know 21 is right about right. Um, and we'll check the other side here. Right around 21 as well. So definitely not the um, most 100% accurate way to do this, but it's the free way to do it. And with that said, it's still pretty accurate. So, oh, hold on. Let's just come over to the calculator here. And we got about 40,000 in the center. And you're gonna come here and select what type of light you're using. Um, the Spider Farmer Grow Light is red plus blue plus white plus 3,500K. Uh, if you're using a different type of light, you can look on this list of light sources that they provide and see if there's one that's close or exact match to what you're using. And this is waveformlighting.com. I'm going to put the link in the description. All right, so let's get to it. So in the center, we had 40,000 lux, and that's about 1,000 micromoles, which is... Uh, pretty close to what uh, Spider Farmer says, if not very close. And then on the side, I believe we were around 20 to 21,000. We'll do both just to see. But right around 500 micromoles. So this is pretty pretty good um, intensity here for um, this light. I mean, just thinking about how much it costs and how much performance you're getting here, it's pretty good. So let me explain a little bit about this calculator. Um, waveform lighting puts a brief description here. Um, it's not possible to convert LUX to PPFD absolutely accurately without using a few assumptions. 
And so what they did was work those assumptions into the calculator, and then you pick what type of lighting you're using. And once you do that, they're able to get pretty close um, to, to um, the intensity of your light in micromoles. So I like this calculator a lot, and I'm going to link to it, and this is what you should do. Um, as far as the Lux meter, this is a free app that you can get on your smartphone. Most smartphones uh, have a light sensor on them, so the, the app just uses that sensor and then gives you a number. It's pretty cool. Um, and this is the free way to do it. The only other way that I know of is using that $500 Apogee meter, which is just not an option for most people. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, oh, and one last thing. Once you close the doors here, we have to keep them open, but once you close the grow tent doors, um, the reflection is going to go up even more, so you might get even a little bit of a higher reading there. But for the sake of the video, obviously, we have to keep them open. But, um, yeah, overall, I'm pretty pleased with the intensity of this light. Um, very nice light. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my website, 420expertguide.com.